Alright, so welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. Today we're going to be talking about food and people who love dishing out insults. Oh, so sorry for the pun, wasn't intended, I promise. People who put their career before their health. Citizens of the world who begin a weight loss journey to only find themselves revisiting Markies a couple of days later. And that person is called Foodie Booty, aka Chantelle Marie. You know, and this situation is very similar to Amblin Reed, who I also made a video on, so I do suggest you check out that first because. Uh, it is a table full of fun. Firstly, who is Foodie Booty? Well, that's who she's formerly known as. She's now known as Big Bootyful Me. She's a YouTuber with 62,000 subscribers who documents her weight loss journeys and diets, etc. But I just question, how do you have time when you're posting junk food mukbangs seven days a week? <laughs> Here's to the next decade of human evolution. But I do want to say this, this is in fact an information based video with a twist of comedy and everything I do say is followed up with evidence and not just harassment or foodie booty. Like everything I do joke about is facts and not just conspiracies or lies. Because you know, she is known to strike people's videos down for harassment and bullying, but more about that later. But in this video I will be taking a look at everything she's built her career on, aka her lies, manipulation and just constant in denial when it comes to her increasing weight. But just to kick things off, I'd love to set the tone with this big beautiful number. And I had a skirt on. And a g-string. The barf goes projectile all over their wall. The poop goes all over their floor. I took some of my g-string off, cleaned up with some socks and some clothes I had in my bag. You know, I think I had a sweater or something in there. And I smelled bad. I smelled bad. And I was like, shit, you know? Oh boy. Buckle up and fasten yourselves in. Follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram. This is about to get real messy. Before we get into her dieting fails, excuses, manipulation and bullying etc, let's just go balls deep into her past and see what I've uncovered. When she was 15, she actually started dating a 21 year old man. This man also simultaneously had a 21 year old pregnant girlfriend. But for foodie booty however, it's needless to say she definitely does have an interest in older men, which I'll explain in a second. But this is probably down to her daddy issues, which she has admitted countless times on camera. I first met him, I was 15 and he was 21. So yeah, kind of, uh, to begin with, you know, this guy had a girlfriend that, um, who was pregnant with his child, okay? Now, if you didn't think that was bad enough, she actually started sleeping with a 38-year-old man while being close with a 21-year-old. Now, by all the men she's getting, I guess you could say, pretty waste, she's a dinner plate. <laughs> well, maybe not the waste part, but... <clears throat> Moving on. Um, I thought he was very good looking for his age. He looked to be in his maybe 40s, late 30s, 40s. Um, turns out he was 38. Now as for her childhood growing up, it was fairly average. However, not so much the meal size. However, this one time Chantel desperately wanted to spend a night with her so-called lover. And as any normal parent would react, they did not allow her to, which caused Chantel to act out in a very cruel way. For some reason, she thought it would be a good idea to fake an attempt of suicide in order to cause worry in her family. I emptied out half my bottle of, um, I think it was Zoloft I was on, antidepressants or something. I showed the bottle and I said, I'm gonna kill myself. I took half the bottle. And I hadn't. I really didn't. You know, I, n I never intended to really do it. I wanted attention. I knew that gave me power, threatening that. I wanted to hurt people. So Chantal used suicide as a way of revenge for not letting her stay overnight with a 21 year old man. However, once her mother found out she attempted suicide, Chantal was rushed to the hospital and put into intensive care. She was accompanied by a second patient who was dealing with a severe case of anorexia and her family would bring her food upon a visit. Chantal, you just, just couldn't help yourself, could you? You just, just had to, didn't you? So Chantal, the hero she is, thought she'd insist on clearing the table for her. And as the old legend says it, you will become what you eat. You wake up one day, Chantel, and you'll be a bowl of ice cream. Ben and Jerry's to be exact. But anyway, I had said to her at some point, are you gonna eat those candy? And I think she kind of caught on because she like, she gave them to me. She gave me her candies. 
Now you'd think she caused enough damage to her loved ones by attempting a fake suicide. So surely she must feel some sort of humanity or some sort of remorse for the people who love her, right? Well, my friends, that's where you would be wrong. And in order to get herself out of the hospital, she admitted she knew how to manipulate her grandmother into feeling bad for her. The plan was to run away and call my grandmother because I knew my grandma didn't know I was there. And this is bad, but I knew I could manipulate my grandmother into feeling bad and not making me go back there. This is a woman who will use any sort of manipulation to get her own way regardless of others' feelings. Also publicly talk about her family and past lovers for views and self-gain. But I'm pretty sure that sums up who Chantel is and what her past is about. I know we spoke about her past for a while, but you know, there's a lot to get around. You know, these stories these days aren't slim. But now I'd like to dive into the now and show you all how she's been bullying, manipulating and also being in denial when it comes to her failing diets. And this is a story and a video you do not want to miss. And just before we get into the deep stuff, I just want to say Happy New Year to all of you and Happy 2020. I hope you have a great year. But I would like to say I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and try and get to a thousand likes this video and also subscribe because we are aiming for that 100k by the end of the year. And it turns out 70% of you that actually watch my videos and actually subscribe. So, you know, maybe you could hit the subscribe button, which would really help me out. I mean, you can always unsubscribe in the future if you don't enjoy the content. So without further ado, I introduce to you the School of Logicon. Let's go. Let's kick some ass. Hello everyone and welcome to Logicon, where we put logic and con artists together. It's time to focus on the very wholesome Chantelle Marie, who began her channel documenting her weight loss journey. Hmm, a weight loss channel who posts videos on eating unhealthy. So without further ado, let this ass fuckery commence! Through her channel, she's adventured on many journeys, such as water fast, vegan, vegetarian, keto, and OMAD diets. Firstly, half of those aren't diets to begin with, they're just lifestyles. Now Chantel, I don't want to make you jealous, but uh... McDonald's. Mmm, I'm loving it. So let's review the common cycle, everyone. As you can see, she started off with a weight loss diet video. Oh, very inspirational, Chantel. Very inspirational indeed. But of course, just like Amblin Reed, she failed miserably over and over and over again. These channels are started off purely to document the weight loss journey and bring inspiration to people. And once that journey comes to an end, so does the channel's purpose. However, how does one manipulate that? By creating a slim shift shit fat cycle as I like to call it. Losing and gaining over and over and over again. Chantel's diet right here. Obviously she did fail it of course. But ladies and gentlemen, what was her excuse this time? Was it A, quit and give up? B, end up choking on a vegetarian sausage so she quit? C, having a man deliver a beef burger in return for a hand job? I guess you could say she had meat hand in hand. <laughs> I was really, really desperate. I was having a craving. I had no food. I got desperate and asked, called one of my lovers. <laughs> this is like low-key prostitution, but I offered him foreplay if he would come over and bring me um, a couple of Whoppers. I think it was Whopper Wednesday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it. What an animal she is. But what kind of person is a little desperate to give someone a little bit of foreplay for a big Whopper? Big whop of spunk, if you ask me. <laughs> but however, this is where it takes a sudden turn, ladies and gentle cocks. Sorry, got uh, got penises on the brain. Oh. I was so mad and pissy that he forgot the zesty sauce from my onion rings that I only let him squeeze my boobs. <laughs> Oh, it really doesn't get more real than this, does it, ladies and gentlemen? You know, fellow members in the audience, it really reminds me of one of those pornos who would start off by a stepsister asking to borrow the brother's car. Allow me to demonstrate. Hey, brother, can I borrow your car keys? Yeah, sure. But in return, you gotta touch my cock. Well, uh, but in this case, it was, uh, it was a bit of meat from five guys. <laughs> Ironic, I know. <laughs> However, she did begin doing an OMAD diet, which essentially is just one meal a day. But considering Chantel's size, she would slowly, slowly need to adapt into that lifestyle, not just instantly switch. But, uh, of course, uh, she did just instantly switch from however meals she was having, just down to one. And, uh, this was an excuse for quitting. Was it A, wasn't enough food to eat? B, she couldn't help herself driving past the fast food areas, so she was forced to go in there and buy a new Big Mac. C, she couldn't cope with the lifestyle. Or was it D? 
She couldn't count the calories. Well, what was it? Let's find out. Come on, you bastard thing. I don't know if there's anything there. Is there? I don't know. This is a green screen. I don't know. I am decided on the background yet. Probably should have, to be fair. Of dieting. I'm sick of stressing about it. Like I said before, like I'm sick of like counting calories, measuring food. It's just so monotonous, you know? You know, just worrying about how much counting macros and my- You can't count the calories, but somehow you're able to count how many men you've been with. <laughs> Right in the comment section, let me know, did you get it right? I really actually want to know, so tell me, please, God. Counting calories isn't exactly that hard. Just look at the back of the packet and get a calculator and, well, you're on your way. <laughs> well, in Chantel's case, you're not going to make it very far. But as you can see, this is a continuous weight loss journey that will never end. The way she creates growth on her channels by doing her mukbangs of story times and, of course, responding to criticism. Don't give a crap. What those people think about me. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, she has to take one mouthful per syllable, you know, or else she will implode through her compressed ass cheeks. How can you say that criticism doesn't bother you when you literally disable the comments and likes every single video? Which in fact does nicely lead on to my next point about criticism. Wait until you see this. <laughs> So here we are in this segment of criticism, the depths of hell if you will. How does Chantel Marie particularly deal with criticism you may ask? Well according to Chantel, the only reason people criticise her is because they are obsessed with wanting to clap her ass cheeks. Uh, I'm okay. No, no honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine Chantel. <coughs> Chantel, I think you need a book on logic on how life works. <laughs> Tony Robbins, uh, I'd suggest it. It's a fucking brilliant book. Oh. I know you want me Simon. I, I know you have an obsession with bigger girls, but you can't have me. I don't fuck with men whose noses are larger than their dicks, okay? Yes, yes, Chantel. I'm sure that's the reason people are criticizing you. In fact, the only reason I'm making this video right now is because I want to have sex with you. I'm sure that's the case. Or maybe it's because I want subscribers and views. Yes, I love clout. But not just that, she also attempts and successfully takes people's videos down when they try to criticize her. And like I said, everything I'm saying right now is just comedy purposes and just, you know, based on actual facts. And you're asking, well, uh, what's gonna stop her from taking down this video? Well, nothing really. You're gonna need a scaffold and stop her. <gasps> and if you're watching this video, I guarantee you won't be able to take the things I'm saying. What I'm saying is actually true. You need to stop false copyright claiming people. You're abusing the system. But this video does fall under the guidelines of fair use. You can't copyright claim this video and you can't strike it down for bullying. I am using evidence and factual things. The problem is with you, Chantel, you can't commit to a lifestyle and you need to be able to learn to do that first. Because the plan you currently have is a big massive shit fest, if you will. Criticism. That's what that is, not bullying, criticism. The reason this video was created was for comedic, entertainment and information based. So, you know, I'm not bullying anyone, I'm just trying to have some fun. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next video. Um, peace. Yeah. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them.